In this lecture, we will discuss about real and virtual image. Let us consider a case of plane mirror and we have a object A here. So this is the plane mirror. If I consider a ray that is incident normally on the plane mirror. It will reflect in the same direction. The incident ray and reflected ray will follow the same path. Now if I consider some another ray, it will make some angle to the normal and it will be reflected back with the same angle. Similarly, we can consider it this side. This will also be reflected back. We can consider any rays. Let us say next rays. This ray will make some angle with the normal and it will be reflected back. Now if I consider another ray this side, same thing, it will be reflected back. Now reflected rays will never meet. You see reflected rays are divergent rays. They will never meet. But it looks like if I extend these lines, so it seems they are coming from a same point and this point is basically image. They are coming from the same point and this point is image of object A. So this is, this image is behind the plane mirror. So plane mirror, this side we have object and this side we have image. So image is, so first important point we have in this case, image is behind the plane mirror. Now this is not a real image because this image is formed by extending the incident ray, reflected ray backward. So this is not a real image, this is a virtual image. So image formed in this case in this case is not real. It is basically virtual. Another important point we have, since this ray is not to the side of mirror, it is behind the mirror, we cannot put this image onto the screen. So virtual image cannot be put onto the screen. So this time object is real and we have image that is virtual and reflected rays are in this case divergent. So we have a case of reflected rays divergent. Now let us consider the same plane mirror. But this time the ray that is coming is convergent, something like, 
So let us say one ray is coming in this direction and this ray will reflect back in this direction. Let us say we have another ray that is coming here and this ray will also reflect back and we can say these two rays basically meet here. Similarly we can consider some more rays if I have a ray that is coming here it will reflect and it will meet here. Similarly we can consider a this side it will reflect and it will meet here. Now this time the image formed so this is the image the image is formed by intersection of reflected rays. So image is this time real because it is formed by reflected rays. So in this case we can say some important points first important point we have that is image is real. Another important point we have that is image is on the side of plane mirror. So this is not the back side of the plane mirror. This is front of the plane mirror. So image is front of the plane mirror. front side of plane mirror. Another important point we have the incident ray in this case in convergent. So these rays are convergent. Incident rays are convergent. If you extend these rays, they will meet at some point so it looks like these rays are coming from this point so this is object so it looks like these rays are coming from this point so this time object is virtual and the image is real. Now this time image can be basically put onto the screen because this is real image and in the front side real and front of the mirror. So in this lecture we discussed about real and virtual image. When actually the intersection ray intersect by the reflected rays we have a real image. When in actual reflected rays does not intersect but it seems like these reflected rays are coming from some point in this case reflected rays are coming from some point the image is virtual. Similarly in this case object is virtual because it looks like these incident rays are coming from this point. So these are case of virtual object. 